In Minnesota, two people have been charged for breaking into Hindu and Buddhist temples as well as the homes of the worshippers in the series of burglaries that left the local community shaken. Two men, Stephen Buziano, who is 37 years old, and Arthur Crudu, who is 27 years old, were arrested for breaking into religious places and homes in Blaine and Carver County. They are also suspected of being involved in similar crimes in other areas of the Twin Cities. Now, between May and July of this particular year, 16 places were targeted, including 9 Buddhist temples and 3 Hindu temples, along with the homes of the people who attended these temples. Now, the temples belong to various communities from different parts of Asia, for example, Cambodia, Malawi, Thailand, etc. Now, the burglars also stole religious jewelry and cash that were meant for temples' renovation, with the total loss estimated to be over 1 lakh dollars. And that's a lot. In fact, in one of the Buddhist temples in St. Louis, the suspects pretended to be interested in meditation before carrying out the theft. Currently, both men are in custody with Buziano held in the United States Immigration and Custom Enforcement in Minnesota and Crudo in California. They have been charged with multiple burglaries, including breaking into religious buildings and homes. Police believes that these crimes were carefully planned and that the men may be part of a larger criminal gang operating across the United States. In fact, similar crimes have been reported in other cities as well, making it very difficult for a Minnesota temple to recover their stolen items. For example, if I tell you that a beaded necklace worth $15,000 was returned to one of the temples, but other valuable items are still missing. The member of the Sri Sai Baba Mandir Temple expressed the community's concern, saying that there is still hope of recovering the stolen item because they may have already been stolen or sent out of the country. Meanwhile, the law enforcement agencies are still investigating the case, hoping to catch other suspected involves and recover more stolen items. However, many valuable items remain missing, leaving the community anxious. Now, for Indian immigrants in Minnesota, these burglaries are especially painful because temples are not only place of worship, but it is also important for the community centers. The stolen religious items have deep cultural and emotional values and their loss has left many feeling vulnerable and upset. For more such videos, do follow Times XP.